In this video, I'll show you how to attach fillable forms to Easy Complete. And once you attach them, they'll be displayed right here. And after they're attached, you'll be able to map the fields from those fillable forms to the Easy Complete customized fields right here. And once that mapping is done, which doesn't take long, you'll be able to populate those forms anytime you want with the client data that appears right here. And it's very simple to attach forms. All you do is click this button here, and then you look, you browse your computer, find the form, double click the form. This window here will default to the file name, and if I just press OK, then the file name is what will be displayed right here. I'll attach another form, Tax Free Savings Account Application, and this time I'll actually shorten that file name and display something else. I'll display TFSA, which stands for Tax-Free Savings Account Application. And I'll click OK, and the TFSA is attached right here. In the future, if some of my forms change and I need to uh, replace those forms, I don't have to reattach them here. As long as I keep the same location, the same file name, all I have to do is replace those forms in that folder, and they'll still be connected to easy complete for mapping and populating. Let's attach one more here. Transfer authorization. I'll just click OK. I'm not going to change the name. If I need to, if I want to sort these, once you have a lot of forms, look I can keep going. You could have a hundred, five hundred, a thousand. So if the list gets pretty long, you can sort them from Z to A or A to Z just with one click here. You can move the selective form up one position like that or down one position or you can eliminate it altogether by clicking this button and now it's gone. Let's uh, just get that back. Okay, so that's all there is to attaching forms. The next video I'll show you how to map the forms and then the one after that I'll show you how to populate them. Thank you for watching.